Hey family, um, how's everybody doing today? God bless you. Uh, I have some dreams, well a dream that I want to share with you guys today. Um, it, it turned into a dream vision and um, there was some, some pretty good information here in this dream that the Lord uh, shared with me. So in this dream it started off, um, I saw two boats in the ocean and I was back I guess you can like on the the shore on the on the beach and um where I could see these two boats um they were pretty and it looked like pretty shallow water so it was just where the tide comes in so um then I noticed in between these two boats there were two football players and um they looked like they were playing football like they were playing toss with a, a football and um, I noticed one of the uh, teams was Dallas Cowboys and then the other I believe was Denver Broncos so right there you see the cowboy and the horse so or the rider and the horse so I was then that's when it changed into um, a vision and I was then moved and I was in the water with them and I was like right in the, right next to them and um I saw that they were tossing a seagull back and forth and um back back and forth to each other and uh like I, I felt like the the seagull was was going along with it like the seagull wasn't fighting it and it was just getting tossed back and forth and um, I had felt bad, like I, I felt bad for the seagull um, and I felt that they were taking advantage of it. So I, I like moved and caught, I like caught the seagull while they were throwing it, I caught it and I, like I stopped and then I put the seagull back in the water. I then heard um, they, uh, the the pe like there were people in these two boats in these two boats that were that we were in between i then heard the people that were in the boats yelling get saved get saved get saved like they kept saying it and um i like i, I was looking at everything like this whole scene and i remember saying only jesus could do this and then I looked down in the water and I noticed there was a shark swimming near us and then um, I woke up. So I, I prayed about it and I um, started looking into the word and, and, and trying to interpret this dream and I know exactly what it's saying. So this dream is talking about Babylon, it's talking about the, it's talking about the false religions of Babylon is talking about the false prophets, the false false teachers of Babylon, and and it's it's talking about um, the gullible person, um, the the person that's that's being uh, pushed, swayed back and forth in the wind by the by the waves. Uh, so anyway, so here's some um, some uh, scripture, or, or matter of fact, let me let me explain to you, just step by step, what this dream is talking about. So, the two boats. I believe those two boats that I saw in the water, are um, in a more than one thing, but in a sense, it's it's good and evil. Um, it's, it's, uh, Satan's kingdom and God's kingdom. Um, it's, uh, it's Babylon and it's heaven or, or, or rather it's Babylon and, um, and, and the, the land that, that God has given us, um, the land, the land of milk and honey, um, so it's basically good and bad um 
It's either on good on, on God's team or not on God's team. So that's the two boats. So the seeing the two football players in between the boats, that's at the that's being at the at the crossroad in a sense. Um, you know, having to make that decision. Um to whether you're going to go left or you're going to go right. Are you going to be on God's team? Are you going to be with God? Or are you going to be against God? Um, now seeing the two football players in between the boats. These are the, the, the waves. These are the waves. And these are the false prophets. The false teachers of Babylon. And the fact that I saw the Dallas... Cowboys is one team and the Denver Broncos is another team that's the rider and the horse um which also can can, can go to or can relate to um the the first horseman um the the false the false religion um of Babylon and um that leads to that 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 ushers in the other horsemen. So, um, the the good the um seagull. So the fact that I saw this seagull being tossed back and forth. Um, another definition for a seagull. Like so so what a a, a seagull is actually those birds are actually called gulls, and it's a, it's a gull of of the sea a seagull, and. Another definition for a gull is basically a gullible person, a person that's easily fooled. So, and and what's the Bible say about a person that's easily fooled? So, we'll, we'll get to that. I'm going to give you scripture on all this stuff. And um, they were being tossed back and forth. This is the, that, that um, seagull was being tossed back and forth. This is the gullible person that's being easily fooled. Um, sway back and forth um being pushed by the waves easily back and forth or by the wind by every doctrine not being um grounded in their foundation and um understanding the word knowing the word so they're easily fooled by false teaching by the by the the football players the false prophets um and then the reason why that's why I felt bad. That's why I felt like they were taking advantage of the seagull because these are the the false prophets, the false the people that are are preaching this this false religion, um, the so called Christians, uh, that that are preaching this false religion and teaching these these false things, and um, and and they're leading these leading baby Christians, leading people that aren't so grounded in the foundation of the of the word, of the truth. Um they're leading them astray from God's word, from from the the right direction. And and I felt bad that they were being taken advantage of. So I moved in and I caught them. So this is God talking about us being um fishers of men. So basically me catching the the seagull was an interception. Just like a football, when you're playing football, you catch the other team, and the team, the other team throws the football, and then the, uh, the the team on defense catches the football. That's an interception. That's what I did. I intercepted that that per that gullible person. I put my net out, casted my net out, and caught them for Jesus, and put placed them back down in the water. That the water is is the truth. That's the that's the word of God. Um. So then, the reason why I kept hearing people say in the boats, I heard the the people in the boat on, on the one side of us saying, "Get saved, get saved, get saved." That's that what that was the people that are already saved, the um the true Christians that were telling them, rooting these these um people that aren't that are believe they're saved. But they're not because they're they're following a false doctrine, and um, they were t yelling for them to come to us, come come with us, come with us, come be with Jesus, come the right way, come get saved, get saved. 
So this is um, basically, this is the dream. This is the interpretation of the dream. And um, so some scripture, just to back all of this up. Uh, Jeremiah 51, 20 to 21 says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. This is talking about Jesus. For with thee I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. And with thee I will break in pieces the horse and the rider. And with thee I will break in pieces the chariot of his rider. So that scripture right there is talking about um, Babylon. It's talking about destroying Babylon. So the horse and the rider, the cowboys and the broncos, that's um, that represented Babylon, the false religion of Babylon. And... God was showing me that he was allowing me to break in pieces, to break their hold on that that person that was being tossed back and forth. So Ephesians 4, 11 to 14 says, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers, well, and teachers, for, to, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in a unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slate of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. So this scripture is talking about the, the, the gullible person, the seagull, that's being tossed back and forth. Um, God has sent us, um, his apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to... Um, help perfect the saints so that we can go out and do ministry edifying the body so that we can grow in christ we can grow and be grounded in the foundation of the truth of the word the knowledge of the son of god um so that we will no longer be children and be able to be tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine so um, Luke 5, 1 to 6 says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of uh, Genesaret, Genesaret, sorry, I might, I'm probably saying that wrong, and saw two ships standing by the lake, that's these two boats, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. He, and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drop. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. So again, this is talking about, this is the scripture um, relating to when I jumped in and caught the seagull and placed it back down in the water. That's me throwing throwing down my net, casting out my net. Jesus told me, cast out my net so that I could catch these, this person and bring them to him, bring in the harvest to him. So guys, this is relatable to all of us. This is, this is word for all of the saints, all of my brothers and sisters, because we are all called to be fishermen, fisher, fishers of men, sorry. And we are, 
here our, our job when we see false teaching when we see false doctrine is to to be a watchman to 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 call out to those that we that we know are weaker in the faith that aren't that aren't as strong as us that aren't built up as much as us and help them guide them to Jesus guide them through all the confusion and the 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 um deception of the uh the maze that these false and um prophets these false teachers are putting out here and um this is what God is telling me that I needed to pray for and this is one thing that I prayed for um yesterday cuz this I had this dream yesterday but you know we have to continue to pray for this continue to pray for um our our baby Christians that they are built up continue to build them up to edify them this is why we make these videos to edify the body so that we can grow in Christ because it is not just Jesus's job to do that J Jesus gave us that job to to edify his body while he's not here so that when he comes back we we will be ready we will be prepared for him so thank you guys for listening and i i just urge you urge you to to just take your your brothers and sisters under your arms your your younger brothers and sisters under your are under your wing and and guide them along with you pull them along don't don't fight come together in unity this is exactly what god was talking to me about recently about being in unity coming to the fullness coming to knowledge of the fullness the fullness of the stature or the stature of the fullness of christ pull them together come together we gotta come together unify in jesus god bless you i love you and i'll talk to you soon